today I am making meatloaf and here is everything I'm going to be using. I got some potatoes, got my seasoning, ground beef, my veggies, and all of my wet ingredients. So let's get to the first step. So the first thing I'm going to do is saute my veggies and the reason I'm doing this is because I want to release that flavor from my onions, bell peppers, and everything before I add it to my meat so that I know it's adding a nice amount of flavor to my ground meat. I'm just going to season this with a little salt, tiny bit of salt and pepper. Now, for my potatoes, I'm just going to roast these in the oven while I'm getting everything else ready. And once they get nice and tender and soft, I'm going to smash them because I want the skin to get crispy, but I don't want mashed potatoes. Okay, so my veggies cook down a little bit. And I'm going to take majority of this out to go with my ground beef. But I'm going to leave just a little of this and my skillet because I'm going to use some of it to make help make my gravy. So, before I get to seasoning my meat and putting my meatloaf together, I'm going to soak some breadcrumbs in one egg and half a cup of heavy cream. First thing I'm going to add to my meat is my cooked veggies. Then after that, I'm just going to season it with all my seasonings. Make sure you check the description box down below for all the seasonings that I use. Now I'm just going to mix this up, then add my wet ingredients. Here I got my greased muffin pan. I heavily greased it because I don't want these lenny meatloafs to stick. So I greased it really good with some uh, vegetable oil. And then now I'm just going to put my meat into my tins. <music> This is what they look like before they go into the oven. I'm just going to put these in the oven on 380 for 35 to 40 minutes. This is what my potatoes look like after I take them out of the oven. I ended up cooking them for 20 minutes instead of 10. And now I'm just going to add them to my bowl, mash them, and toss them in some minced garlic. Now, I ain't never made my gravy like this before, but I'm going to try something new and see how it goes. So, I got the rest of my veggies in the skillet cooking, and I added a little more oil and butter just because I'm going to add flour and some more stuff to this, and I need a little more liquid to cook with. Now, to this, I'm going to add some flour, just some plain white flour, and I'm going to whisk this until it gets brown this is where the color of the gravy is going to come in and i'm using about two tablespoons of butter i mean flour two tablespoons of flour so i just kept whisking and whisking until it got brown like this and basically i just made a roux before i make my gravy and that's just combining oil or fat and flour and whisking it until it gets brown and you could make it darker or you can leave it a little lighter than this but you just keep whisking and whisking over like a medium high heat until the flour starts to cook and turn brown so now i turn my heat down to low and now i'm gonna add some chicken stock y'all i never use chicken stock any kind of stock to make my gravy i just use water but I want to add some flavor to this, so I'm going to add some chicken stock. And I'm just 
going to whisk that to combine it. And now, the other thing that I never add to my gravy is cream, heavy cream. And I don't know, somebody else said, I saw somebody else do this, and they said that it makes the gravy like richer, more creamy. So I'm going to add just a splash of heavy cream. Okay, now everything is done. I got my potatoes. I got my meatloaf that I cooked on 380 for 40 minutes. I got my string beans and my gravy. And y'all, this gravy turned out so good. I'm starting making my gravy like this all the time. Let's see the finished product. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.